Hello and welcome to Wapakoneta High School for tonight's Division Three Boys Regional Semifinal between the Ottoville Big Green and the Liberty Benton Eagles. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Josh Crossgrove. And Josh, we are moving right along. We are into the regional and everybody knows when you move through tournaments, it only gets more difficult. And tonight we have a tremendous matchup between what can only be considered domination by the Big Green but Liberty Benton, no slouch themselves. They've had Not a tremendous all. season. These two met earlier this year, and that was a great matchup. Yeah, back August 31st, it was uh, Ottaville coming out 1-0. Strange fact here, Ottaville has not given up a goal to Liberty Benton in four years. So it should be a whale of a game, and you know every goal matters come tournament time. Ottaville talking about the defense have only given up 10 goals all season coming into tonight. As we mentioned earlier this year, it's pretty early in the season, so obviously not the same type of teams that when they saw each other earlier, but that was a one nothing matchup. Ottoville here with the early advantage on the throw-in. They're going to try to throw that one up ahead. Liberty Benton does a nice job cutting that one off, working near, near sideline. It's going to go out. Another throw-in for the Big Green. And no, the officials say last touch by Ottoville, and Liberty Benton will get it throw. If you were Liberty Benton coming in, you are going to key on Preston Mansfield. He's their all-everything, your leading goal scorer, and might be one of the fastest human beings we've seen in Northwest Ohio on the boys' side. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something to be very aware of, and I know uh, Coach Troyer that uh, that is what he has talked about since the district final win over Van Buren last Saturday. Trevor Ferris tries to move that up for Liberty Benton, but Ottoville able to send it back as Liberty Benton having to spend a lot of time in their defensive third here in the early going. Showing a lot of patience, just trying to move it around. Is you know obviously familiar with this Ottoville team, not wanting to try to make any mistakes here early. Here's Ottoville in the midfield. They're going to move it up. Liberty Benton able to cut that one off. And very early on, their first real opportunity, they look for Preston Mansfield right there in the middle third of the field. Just couldn't quite get him the the rock right here. Peterson's pass is going to be cut off. Ottaville going to look towards the middle of the field, but just out of the reach. It ends up at the feet of Liberty Bent. Ottaville, nice job fighting back as number eight, Quentin Schnipke, was there. But you can see right now Liberty Benton playing defensive heavy. Five in that defensive third. Not wanting to let Ottawa get anything going. This one's going to end up long and back into the hands of the keeper. We'll take a look at the starting lineups tonight for both squads. First for the Ottawa Bill Green, they're going to start number two, Brandon Cavledge. Number three, Garrett Trentman. Number four, Alex Lease. Number five, Preston Mansfield. Number six, Jaden Saxton. Number eight, Quentin Snipke. Number 11, Jackson Ricker. Number 20, Landon Horseman. Number 23, Andy Mormon. And number 33, Joe Lees. Back in goal for Ottaville is going to be Carson Hilvers. So now Liberty Benton, first real opportunity down there in the offensive third. As a throw in is going to come on the far sideline by Connor Hiss. Taking a look at the starters for Liberty Benton. This one's going to go out. They're going to start. Number three, Aiden Hatch. Number six, Connor Hiss. Number seven, Will Neese. Number eight, Brody Thomas. Number 10, Garrett Neelis. Number 11, Zach Peterson. Number 13, Bryce Fox. Number 14, Quinn Taylor. Number 17, Trevor Ferris. Number 18, Reed Thomas. And in the goal is going to be Ben Jenkins. Nate, speaking of the goalies, as uh, Ben Jenkins comes in with 10 shutouts, Carson Hilvers with 11. So they have not had a lot of goals given up. Lots of clean sheets for both keepers this year. Ottaville comes into tonight's game 19-0-1. The one tie coming against Kaleida in a 1-1 matchup. Liberty Benton comes in tonight 13-4-3 overall. They were 4-0-1 in conference play. And all of Liberty Benton's losses actually came at home this year. So every time that they've had to travel, they've came away with a victory. So something's going to give here either that road undefeated streak by Liberty Benton or the overall undefeated streak by Ottoville. 
and one thing you get to this point in the regionals in most of the games until you get to the state where they're back on uh, natural grass is most of these games are played on turf. Liberty Benton has a huge advantage right now because they have turf at home now. Ottaville's on the natural grass. Here's Ferris trying to work up through a couple or some traffic. Has that one sent back as Zach Peterson gets ready for the throw in for Liberty Benton. This one's going to get sent back out. Possession will stay with the Eagles. Quick touch towards the middle as Fox looking for an opening. Gets it right over the defender's head. It's going to be headed out. Going to be a throw in for Liberty Benton. So you can see Liberty Benton trying to get some runs, see if they can't get some things going quickly behind that back line of Ottoville. But no going here, at least in the early going. Long throwing, great throwing for the Eagles as that one ended up almost right into the middle of the box, but Ottoville able to send it out. Liberty Benton is going to have a tough time getting, not only getting past Carfin Hilvers, but getting past number 20 back there, Landon Horseman in the middle defense. He's a staple back there. Great hustle that time by uh, Trevor Ferris, but Ottaville did a nice job getting it back. Liberty Benton, though, able to stay on the attack. Ferris towards the middle of the field. Liberty Benton just going to be looking for the possession, looking to settle. Here's Ferris northern, or near the near sideline. Fox looks to send it across and flip the field. Liberty Benton on the far sideline has some space. Going to work that sideline. It's going to go out, and it is going to go back to Ottoville. The biggest difference in these two teams right now, Ottoville likes to play a little bit more long ball. And Liberty Benton, you can see the last couple minutes, likes to play the possession soccer match. As he, Ottoville turns it over right there deep in their own territory. So Liberty Benton now, after having to spend a lot of the early going on their defensive third, has had some opportunities down here. Had some lengthy possessions, but not a whole lot of good looks at the net. Ottaville with an opportunity here. They're going to move it up through the midfield. Race on that far sideline. Ottaville able to get it, but Liberty Benton defense right there to send it out. Sometimes that's all you can do when you got Preston Mansfield on your back is just send it, send it out of play and Live to fight another day. So Jaden Saxton on the far sideline. He's going to throw it in for Ottoville as the offense looks to get set. 32 40 left to go here in the first half. Just underway in this Division Three regional semifinal. A tremendous throw. Ottoville with an opportunity here. And the Liberty Benton defense able to rally. Able to throw some bodies at it. Ottaville doesn't end up with a good look. It is such an advantage when you can have players that have, are so good on those throw-ins that they're almost like getting a free kick from those sidelines. Yeah, and you have to play it kind of like a corner kick or a free kick when you have somebody like Jaden Saxon that can throw it 20 yards right into the middle of the penalty area. Shawnee, a few years ago, um, they had a player, Connor Niedemeyer, uh, he was the same type of player. It was such an advantage for the Indians when he was able to take those throw-ins as he could clear 35, 40 <laughs> yards, and they were they were able to get um, opportunities right in front of the net. The same thing here tonight. It looks like both squads are going to have players who have tremendous throw-ins. and We'll see if that comes into play, but you know when you're getting down the road and we're, we're in that regional semifinal and, and everything gets tougher and everything everybody's playing a little bit tighter, you know, sometimes it's those things that can be the difference. Substitution coming into the game. As number 31, Nick Cortana coming in. Nick has had some opportunities this year to score some goals, so that's something to be aware of. And it's a it's nice to have somebody for Mark Ward to come off the bench and be a goal scorer. Snipke looked like he was going to have an angle there for a second. Liberty Benton does a great job cutting that off. Trying to keep it out of the box is Liberty Benton. Ottoville trying to see if they can't keep things down on this side of the field. But Liberty Benton does a nice job as they move it up. Right. 
right now that Eagle defense is just all over the place, not letting Audeville have many, uh, very many lanes at all. Right. So they're they're throwing five or six backs on the defensive side. Is you know they they seem content to know that this is going to be a low scoring game. Defense is what's going to be um, the most important, especially here early. Don't want Ottawa or Ottawaville to excuse me Ottawaville to have any sort of momentum. And that is one thing you. You get a team that's been to this level three years in a row, their their nerves are a whole lot different than the last time. I mean, Liberty Benton was the last time they were at this level was two thousand and seven. Yeah, it's a lot different when it becomes an expectation exactly. instead of, you know, this this thing that we're celebrating. It's no, we expect to be here. Yep. And this it's more business like for the big green. So sometimes it can be easier, like you said, to manage those emotions. Yep. Especially when you got seniors and juniors that have been here three years in a row, they can take those freshmen. You know, I mean, he starts a freshman. You know, Joe Lease, number thirty-three. That's a big game for him. He's he was playing junior high <laughs> <laughs> last year at this time. You know, his season was over at this time. Um, but the guys like Saxton and Preston Mansfield take them under the wing and say, "Hey, we got this kid." Nice job by the Audeville defense that time to get a foot on that one and knock it out. Looks like Liberty Benton has two subs right now. First time they're subbing tonight. So number 12, Ocean Kiroga is coming in. As number 11, Zach Peterson is going to check out tonight. And I did not see who the second sub was. And thanks to the our, our PA announcer up here in, in the box, we know that it was Iro Colina coming in for Liberty Benton. So both teams now have gone to the bench trying to get some fresh legs out there. Colina gets that over. Ferris sends a long ball trying to get the cross behind the back line of Ottoville but not able to connect with his teammate as Ottaville sends this one out. The throw-in will stay with Liberty Benton. See, and that is something where Ottaville is a key on that back line. They got speed, and a lot of teams do not have as much speed on that back line where you can get to that ball. Connor hits on the throw-in. Going to try to get it at one, the feet of one of his teammates, but he was covered by two different big green players. This one's going to go out. Throw-in's going to go or he's a little stay with Liberty Benton, but they're a little farther away this time on this opportunity. This one's going to get sent backwards. Ottoville right there to clean it up. They move up towards the midfield. Challenge for the ball. Liberty Benton able to take it back, but Ottoville gets it back immediately. Nice fight that time by Garrett Trentman. But Liberty Benton does a great job to take that one back and We've been talking about the Liberty Benton defense, but this Ottoville defense has been up to the task as well. You know, you talk about early momentum and maybe being able to score a goal early and put the other team on its heels. And tonight it seems like it'd be a lot more important for Liberty Benton to be able to do that than Ottoville. When you have a team that has yet to face defeat and they come in undefeated, obviously you know they're a great team, yep. that they've done a lot of good things. But when they start, when they look up and they're trailing, Sometimes that's when you can get those unforced errors. You can get them pressing. That That's not a position that they find themselves in a lot when you've only given up 10 goals uh, all season long and you, you, you have that, um, you have no blemishes in the loss column. So if Liberty Benton is able to get one in here and put Onoville on their heels early, it would be a huge momentum swing. Yeah, and, you know, Dustin Markward, I don't know how often he has trailed and how does his team react to adversity. You just don't know. That's one of the unknowns right now, especially when you come in 19-0-1. And here's a, a dangerous player right there. Good defensive play. Preston Mansfield trying to shake loose. Going to have another opportunity here. Has to go into two Liberty Benton defenders. And they're able to clear it as this is Garrett Neelis. Neelis just trying to see if he could and squeak one back to Ferris. But ends up going out. Throw one's going to stay with Ottoville. And this will be Quentin Snipke again. Number 22, Nick Brandeberry coming into the game for Ottoville. First time we've seen him tonight. Ottoville.
Will showing a little bit of patience. Gets this over to Cortman. Yet again, Liberty Benton right there. Sends this one up. They got it just across midfield, though, but gets sent out. As right now, it's the defenses that are really dictating things for both of these squads. The offenses haven't had a lot of opportunities, not a lot of lanes, as the defenses have been all over them, not giving them a lot of time or room. Yeah, the last two subs for Coach Markward has been at the midfield level, so he's he probably sees something trying to work from the midfield and build up into that final third pressing to get a, the first goal and put Liberty Benton on their heels here with about 25 minutes to go in this first half. Another substitution coming in for the big green. This one's going to be number seven, Ashton Miller, coming into the game for the first time tonight. As Ottoville had to throw in. So it's going to be sent up, played off the foot of Miller. Nealis trying to get it over to that far sideline. But Ottawa there to pull it away. Mansfield beats his defender, looking for an angle. And you saw one Ottawa player, four Liberty <laughs> Benton defenders, even somebody as talented as Mansfield, that's a losing proposition. Yeah, you don't want to go four on one right now. Uh, you think I was a coaching point for uh, – <laughs> Coach Troyer and the Liberty Benton Eagles when you have to know when Preston Mansfield has the ball. As you can see, as soon as he got it, three, four guys collapses on him. Garen Nealis sends this one out for the Eagles. Throwing will stay with Ottoville. They're going to go quick. That time, a little bit of miscommunication as that ended up a little bit too far, far to play for Snipke. And we're going to have our first goal kick of the night. Ben Jenkins, his, early, his first action back there. Not going to try to go deep with this. As Liberty Benton's going to keep it and try to control. This is going to be high and going to be sent out. Throw in for Ottaville. Snipke gets it in quickly. Oh, they're going to bring it back. They're subbing. Saxon's going to go out. So sometimes that's when the substitution game can get you. Ottaville trying to go quick there on that far sideline. But they already had the player up for the substitution. Ottaville gets it towards the middle of the field, but gets sent back up by Liberty Benton. Midfield comes up to cut it off. Here's Fox. Fox trying to squeeze it in there to Nealis, but gets cut off by the big green. You saw Snipke trying to just to kind of poke that one backwards, but played nicely. Ottaville's going to end up with the possession regardless, though. Yep. First foul of the game is going to have a free oh, kick for Ottaville. With 22-10 to go, it's their first foul. We played 18, almost 18 full minutes without a foul in this regional semifinal game. How often do you see that? Well, especially with as defensive as things as um, – as things have been here in the early going and as active as both defensives have been, it's been very clean. And even with this free kick, I mean, they're at back beyond the 40. It wasn't going to be a, an easy one or a direct line to goal. So even with the penalty, but here comes the shot. It's going to be deflected. This one's going to be left. Nice job heading that one out. And Liberty Benton's going to get it, try to work that far side line. Back into the middle. Nealis tries to move it up, but gets cut off. Ottaville has done a nice job the last few minutes playing a great defensive midfield right here, creating a lot of turnovers. Here's Snipke trying to measure, sends across. Liberty Benton there to take it away. Ferris moves it up into the empty space, but Ottaville gets to it first. They're going to bring it back. As right now, Liberty Benton seems to always have the numbers when Ottaville gets down on offense. Ferris is open. He comes to it in the middle, drops it off, and looking to squeeze one through that time, but an easy one handled by Ottaville's back line. Nice recovery by the Liberty Benton outside back. Roga that time is able to send it back. 
as he had a little bit of traffic and some contact to deal with, but kept his feet and sent it back up for the Eagles. This one goes out on the far sideline, throw in stays with Liberty Benton. Some more substitutions coming in for both teams. One coming in for Liberty Benton as number 11, Zach Peterson, coming back in. Number four, Alex Lease. And number six, Jaden Saxton, checking back in for Ottoville. So we're starting to see both coaches substitute a little bit more frequently, but we see those fresh legs coming in and trying to get um, a little bit of rest, those for the starters, as they come in quickly here with just under 20 minutes left to go in the first half. Jaden Saxon did not get much of a break. <laughs> <laughs> nice throw in. Ends up at the feet of Liberty Benton. Looks for the strong left foot. That one gets cut off by Ottoville. You know, it almost feels like that's going to be one of the shots that one of these teams are going to need to find a lane. Not necessarily one that they're able to measure up and kind of line up and, and the lane just opens for them. It's going to have to be one of those quick turnarounds that just kind of has... You know, uh, like a seeing eye shot just kind of somehow gets through because the way that both of these defenses are playing right now, I don't know if they're going to have a lot of great opportunities. So we have another foul. This one's going to go against Ottoville, so it's their first as Liberty Benton will get a direct kick opportunity. Yeah, you just worry. I mean... We've had two shots in the last couple minutes where they've been taken from about the 18-yard mark out, and the defense have just gotten in the way. So that's a that's a goalkeeper's best friend right there is when <laughs> your your defense lays their body out in front of you, makes their job pretty easy. But like you said, you just worry that one of those is going to squeak by and caught, catch the keeper off guard and find the back of the net, and you hate to see that in a game like this. So Liberty Benton still keeping control on the far side. Trying to work it back up to the midfield now. It's cut off by Ottoville. Big green now. I'm trying to see if they can't get something going, but once again, that Liberty Benton defense all over it and able to get the ball back. Here's Peterson. Gets it up ahead to Trevor Ferris. Ferris gets it through a couple of defenders. It gets deflected. He's able to gather it back in. Going to kick it out wide. It's going to be controlled by Hatch, but we're going to have an offside call as Hatch that time got behind that back line before the pass got off. So the big green now with the kick. Seventeen thirty left to go. Still tied at zero here in the Division Three Regional Semifinal. Big Garlock alongside Josh Crossgrove. Glad to be here tonight as the tournament trail is narrowing and we know that the competition only gets fiercer. Some contact at the middle of the field and I believe we have a late whistle. So that, right now the penalties are, we're getting a few more whistles, but yep. they're being so far away from the net that they've really been pretty inconsequential. Right, and that one, Mike Wyrock on the whistle here in red out there in the middle of the field, what, waited to play advantage but it didn't materialize. He brought it back. Good job by the third crew out there. So that free kick handled harmlessly by Liberty Benton as they look to control. Peterson. Tried to work against Miller. Miller takes it away. And it was two on four advantage in favor of Liberty Benton, and they're able to take this one away as Needless now works it over to Ferris. Ferris. Going to try to get through some traffic and settle it. Feeds it up top. Here's Nice. Nice has it taken away. Now it's going to be Ottoville's turn. Here's Mansfield. Trying to race to it. And that one's going to get sent out. More substitutions coming into the game. This time it's going to be three for Ottoville. And just one. Or no, excuse me, it was two as we see Trevor Ferris check out. Ottoville is going to have 
Preston Mansfield. So he that wasn't him chasing. He I think was actually it was, off on the bench. Yeah, I think it was uh, Lease. So Preston Mansfield Garrett though Lease. now back in. Coming or in, Alex uh, Lease. I'm sorry. Coming back in here for Ottoville. So they get their speedster back. They are hoping to make something happen here. As they make a trip here, and that one's going to go back out before they ever get <laughs> ever get started. So <laughs> the offenses for both teams right now not really able to have any sort of prolonged possessions here so far in the first half. A lot of this game is being played in between the 220s. So there's a lot going on in the midfield right now. Zalaville looks to squeeze it through. Nice job by Liberty Benton sending that one back up. Neelis pokes it ahead. As Hatch going to fight here on this near sideline. And he is right there to challenge. But at the end of the day, Landon Horseman ends up with the throw in. As Reed now sends this one back up for Liberty Benton. This one's going to go towards the middle of the field. Fox. Has some contact, and yep. we are going to have a whistle as Bryce Fox took a hard no, kick that time. Six, That's going to be Jaden Saxon getting whistled for the foul. So Reed Thomas drops this one off as Peterson looks to work it out wide. It'll be Benton wants to get the cross. Has to fight through some traffic. They get a little bit of space that time. Work it back up towards the top of the box. Ottaville does a nice job cutting that one off. So Liberty Benton pushes it back out. Nice challenge right around the 30, but Liberty Benton able to maintain possession. You thought Ottaville and Alex Lease over there on that far side was going to get it and go. And good uh, takeaway back by Liberty Benton. That's a good battle over there on that far side. <laughs> Well, and if you're Ottaville, too, you got to try to go quickly here because Liberty Benton is throwing so many back. You're, you're never going to have the numbers advantage mm -hmm. when you try to go down on offense. So your best opportunity is going to be trying to get one of these and move it up quickly and hopefully maybe get that timing right to get behind the back line. And they got the right guy up front to do a timing run. This one gets past Ottaville and Liberty Benton, but they grab it up, drop it back to the keeper. As Jenkins will look to move this one up. Audible right there for the header to send it back. Snipke trying to get to it. That one's going to go out. We'll have another goal kick for Liberty Benton. Twelve thirty left to go on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Still tied at zero here in the regional semifinal as Liberty Benton's defense has been up to the task. Ottoville hasn't had a ton of opportunities as this one's going to roll out on that far sideline. Throw in will be stay with the big green. But on the other side, Ottaville's defense has been just as tough as neither one of these squads have really had much of anything as far as opportunities at the net. Yeah, and <laughs> goes to both back lines are just playing phenomenal soccer right now. And you can't, you know, both coaches, Coach Markward, Coach Taylor, can't ask for anything else. They know that their scores are going to get an opportunity to score, but when you have a strong back line on each side, it's going to make this a one-possession game. And here's Peterson. Works with the left foot. Going to send this one in. And Ottaville right there to take it away and send it back. Thomas does a nice job controlling it around the midfield. As Liberty Benton's going to be able to keep this down here in their offensive third. Quinn Taylor sends a cross. Not sure if you should have taken a touch right there, but still had an opportunity. But this one's going to get sent back by Ottoville. And this right now seems to be about the probably the best opportunity for either team mm -hmm. is taking those long 18-plus yard shots and hoping that you're able to find a corner. At this point, the defense have come up strong. That's a third shot that with some velocity on it that a defensive
back is throwing their body in front of it. Taylor drops this one over to Nice. Nice sends it towards the middle. This one's going to be lofted up, headed towards the keep, and a save. The first real shot on goal, but a nice job by um, Ottaville's keeper to be able to get up there and get it as Carson Hilvers gets his first save. So we'll see if maybe that doesn't light a fire under maybe either one of these teams and we get a few more opportunities here as we get closer to halftime. Ten minutes left to go. That was the first time that Hilvers has touched the ball. Jenkins has touched it a time or two. But Hilvers hasn't had an opportunity yet except for that last header by Liberty Benton. So Liberty Benton right now trying to control midfield, trying to settle things down a little bit. It's Thomas. Going to move it up to Taylor. Taylor able to win that challenge. Gets that one over, but Ottaville right there to take it away as their back line has done a nice job tonight. Another long run here. Ottaville trying to see if they couldn't get something going, but Liberty Benton defense did a nice job tracking that one down. Quinn Taylor looked like maybe for a second he was going to flirt with that one being out, but able to keep it in bounds. As Ottaville, though, still ends up with it. Mansfield working through a whole bunch of traffic. going to drop that one down. They'd love to get him on a run. Looks to work around a couple of people. Drops this one off. They're going to look for the cross. A great job by Liberty Benton to cut that one off, but Ottaville is going to have an opportunity here as they're going to have the corner kick. First We're corner gonna kick of the game. And we will step aside here with 8.30 left to go. When we come back, we'll have Ottaville's first corner kick of the game. Welcome back. Tonight's premier sponsor is the Ottaville Bank. Ottaville Bank, we are large enough to serve and small enough to know you. First corner is going to come into the box. Nice job, but this one's going to be headed back out. So a second corner coming from Ottaville. They're going to have another opportunity here, this time just on the other side of the field. That's demoralizing to uh, a defense where you think you're going to be able to clear it out and it goes up glancing off your head and second corner kick in a row kick goes in towards the box this one's a, comes in a little bit hot and a little bit too far out so Ottaville not able to take advantage of either corner kicks this one's eventually just going to end up out in a throw in for Liberty Benton so not the most productive trip that first corner looked like their best opportunity not able to cash in the second one looked like a little bit of a miss hit that time but we're going to have some substitutions coming into the game for both teams. As Hiro Kalina comes back in for uh, Liberty Benton. 7.08 left to go here in the first half. That was probably the best scoring opportunity that Ottaville's had down there on that first corner kick where Liberty Benton has had a few more opportunities. Liberty Benton here looking for an opportunity. Is, you saw that was Kalina trying to send this one into the box. That one's going to go out. It'll be a goal kick for Ottoville. And I think right now, Liberty Benton, they're almost trying to make things a little bit too perfect when they get the ball at their feet. Like on that opportunity, sometimes you just, you just have to go, especially when you know that the defenses are playing as well as they are playing tonight. You know, it, one or two touches might be too much. You might just have to try to go for the redirect or maybe take one small and, and let one fly. You're going to have to be a little bit quicker with those shots if you don't want those lanes to close. Yeah, and that's one thing that Ottaville does a nice job is closing those lanes in a hurry. And like you said, maybe not so perfect. Try not to play the perfect match, but just find just a little small opening where you can take and take advantage of them where they expect you to take a big touch and they don't get it. 
So we had a whistle against Liberty Benton. The direct kick went for Ottoville, but not able to do anything with it as the ball is back at the feet of Liberty Benton. They work along that far sideline, but the Ottoville does a nice job taking that one away. And they gave it right back. <laughs> and that's what we're seeing. So many quick change of possessions here as both teams, the defenses, they're just playing so well and playing very clean, as, too, especially as they get closer to the net. Colina able to stick his foot in there, take that one away. Drops it off to Hatch. Hatch going to look for the send. Looks for the cross, and actually this one ends up a little bit closer to the keep. And as uh, you saw Hilvers come out to just gather that one in. Hilvers punt. Skies this one over midfield. As that time, Mormon wasn't able to handle it for Ottoville, but the defense from Liberty Benton put a little bit too much on that one. It goes out, and Snipke has the throw in. Snipke looking for somewhere to go with it. Heads up at the feet of Mormon. Back to Snipke. And Snipke gets that one off the side of his foot as it goes out, and the throw in will be to Liberty Benton. Liberty Benton is subbing again. Looks like they're subbing on the back line. So Connor Hiss coming back into the game for the Eagles. And in a game like this, you want to make sure your back line is fully rested. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> especially with as much as this defense has been on it. You definitely don't want to risk them getting tired and, and no. having tired legs. Here's Hatch, comes over, cuts that one off, nowhere to go with it, so he just sends it out. Another substitution, this time it's going to be for Ottoville. Alex Lease coming into the game. So under four minutes left to go here in the opening half. We are tied at zero. This is kind of what we expected, though, coming into the game when it was a 1-0 game early this year. And I know both clubs have improved tremendously, but still. And two incredibly good teams, both coming in as their respective regions one seed. So you knew this one was going to be tight. You know, it feels like this is going to be one of those games that either is going to come down to the first team that makes a mistake or potentially, you know, those dreaded penalty kicks. Ottoville with the takeaway. Here's Mormon, works it around. Mansfield gonna try to make something happen, gonna take it out wide, but he's got three <laughs> Eagles trailing him. And one in the middle. As they one are all, real close. They always make sure that he is never one on one, and usually it's not even two on one either. No. We have a whistle on the far sideline against Ottoville. So the free kick is going to be coming for Liberty Benton. And once again, we saw early the first time that Preston Mansfield actually had an opportunity. There was four guys on him. That time it was three, and there was one guy eyeing it off the, about five yards off that. So as soon as he touched it, you know, that's one thing from a coaching standpoint you never want to – let their best player beat you. Liberty Benton with the hard kick sends that one out. As we approach two minutes left to go in the half. Two minutes left in the half. Out of Bill controls around midfield. Looks for an opening. Able to squeeze it in there. But every time they get a pass off, there's a lot of black jerseys hovering around. That was one of the mistakes that you were talking about earlier that neither team can afford just a miss hit and keep the ball down in this end. A little bit too much on that one as they were trying to see if Hatch couldn't shake loose of that back line. As Hilvers is going to come out for the save. Going to try to send this one back up. A little bit of a shorter punt this time, but Snipke was right there to make sure that nothing really too terrible happened with that ball. He quickly gets the throw in it. You saw Trentman trying to get it right back to Snipke, but a little bit too much on that one. So Peterson's going to have the throw in for Liberty Benton. Now we reach a minute to play. We'll see if either one of these teams are able to give themselves an opportunity here before we go into halftime. 
Ilvers comes out, covers that one up. That was a, another misdirection that good thing Carson Hilvers was on top of it right away. Knew exactly what to do. LB with 30 seconds left to go. Trying to work through some traffic. Otoville right there. This one gets sent Ooh, through. And that was a close. Fortunate play that time by Otoville as one of those backline defenders was able to get in front of it because if he doesn't, that angle looked like that one might have been able to get in. Yeah, we had a perfect angle up here. I, th I think it was going to be going to find the back of the net if, if that defender did not stick his left foot out there. Long kick for Nealis. And that one is going to be no good. And that will bring the first half to a close. Fast pace action, but all defense out of both teams as we head to halftime tied at zero. We are going to step aside. When we return, we'll have the second half. You're watching Boys Regional Semifinal here on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpaw, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Today's premier sponsor, sponsor for the Otterville Big Green is Otterville Bank. We are large enough to serve and small enough to know you. We are just about underway here at Walpaw Canada High School for the second half of the boys' Division Three regional semifinals between the Liberty Benton Eagles and the Ottoville Big Green. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Josh Cosgrove. And Josh, it was, a, it was a great first half. It's tied at zero, yes. but I'll tell you what, the way that these defensives played was incredibly impressive. We saw really two opportunities total, one for each team mm. that were legitimate goal-scoring opportunities. Other than that, these defenses stood tall. They swarmed the ball. They made sure that there wasn't a lot of opportunities and not a lot of open lanes. And we saw a relatively clean first half as well. Yeah, I mean, we're 0-0 zero, zero on the scoreboard. Three fouls apiece, one off sides, two corner kicks, and we'll call them two saves for Carson Hilvers. Um and maybe on one of them saves we can count it as a shot off of a header for Liberty Benton. Other than that, I mean, like you said, it's been a relatively even game, but it's been played in between the 20s with a few exceptions and the biggest one coming with about three minutes to go in the first half where Carson Hilvers left the far side open and just barely his defense got a toe on that ball to deflect it. Yeah, we talked about, you know, this is one of those games that seemed like it's going to come down to which team makes the mistake first. As you can see, Ottaville trying to push the action and trying to get a run that time. But Liberty Benton does a nice job sending it off. As they're going to switch out on that far sideline for the throw-in. We saw a couple of good throw-ins, long throw-ins that we thought might come into play and might kind of be a uh, – an advantage is this long throw in comes into the center and almost right there, <laughs> right on cue. Yeah. Did, I, did it give Onoville an opportunity? But uh, Liberty Benton able to control that one as Ben Jenkins sends this punt up around midfield. And yeah, we talked about that in the first half with uh, how, how nice it is to have somebody that can throw it 30 yards with Saxton being that for Otteville. And you can saw it right there. Big throw and created an opportunity. So now this Liberty Benton defense that did such a great job in the first half picking up right where they left off. Nice find as Neelis plays this one up ahead on the far sideline. Quickly running and getting in and getting to it is Taylor. Quinn Taylor. Looked like maybe he was going to try to put it into the box, but decides to put it up top. As Liberty Benton just moves us around and flips the field. And then Ottoville with the good defense on that far side. They're able to get it, and they're going to move right back up. Both these coaches have been coaching long enough where you know that both have made some halftime adjustments. 
But a lot of times when your defense is playing this good, even a good halftime adjustment is not going to make a big difference at this point. As Liberty Benton now looks to control midfield, sends this one back up. An audible right there. As the defensive positioning from both teams has been spot on. Fight for the 50-50 ball that time. Almost went to Ottoville, but Liberty Benton able to recover. Liberty Benton is liking to play a little bit more possession, liking to switch the field on a quick pass, as you can see right here. Taylor tries to go towards the middle of the field. Audible able to get a good touch to stop that one. They send it back up. And a little bit of too much contact that time as we are going to have a penalty called against the big green. Grant kick coming for the Eagles. As it looks like Hatch is lining up to take the kick. And still, it's a, it's a long kick from out that far. As we Especially talk. on a tonight as cold as it is out there. This one's going to get sent in and headed back out by Ottoville. Nice job by the back line. They send this one back up quickly. Ottoville trying to gain possession. Get a little bit more contact there in the middle of the field, but the big green come away with it. Liberty Benton just like that. They're going to take it back. Trying to go on the attack. This one gets sent out. Throwing will stay with the Eagles. Throw in, you can tell one thing that Liberty Benton wants to play a little bit quicker when they have the in the final third throw in. They want to get it back in play as quickly as possible. More contact, and we have a whistle. Another foul. That's this a little bit more dangerous. That one's going to be right around the 10. And if you're Ottoville, you got to be thankful. That wasn't about two yards closer. That is just outside of the box. So we're going to have a direct kick. And this one, first time we've really seen a penalty that could potentially be hazardous. See how LB decides to play this one. Looks like that is going to be Neelis that's going to take the kick. Neelis with the service. And watch Ferris right towards the middle of the field as well. Going to send this one right into the wall. Gets the rebound, kicks it again. As Ottoville does a nice job of sending that one as the wall did what it was supposed to do and denied that one from getting anywhere near the goal. That was an interesting choice of kicks to go right at the wall and and then twice at the wall especially from 20 yards up you you think maybe a waft in it and trying to get a running head something in there um, but he chose to go right directly at the wall yeah you got to think Nealis did not get the type of elevation he was hoping for on that opportunity but a lot sooner here in the second half did a team have a good opportunity than they, in the first half. As we still have 33-30 left to go. Liberty Benton works with it in the defensive third. Tries to move it up. They're able to control it around midfield as Nealis moves it over closer to that far sideline. They move it right back into the middle of the field. Nealis looks for somewhere to go with it. Throws it up for Taylor. And Quinn Taylor has that one taken away. And now Neil is being very busy here. He sends one in and a nice header that time as that one's going to go out. He was offsides and he dropped the flag, so they're just going to let it play out here. That was another good opportunity for Liberty Benton. They, they've had a number of opportunities so far in the first seven and a half minutes in the second half, and Ottaville hasn't really been able to get on track this second half yet. 
Yeah, you can definitely tell Liberty Benton has picked up their pace, and they're just trying to, instead of maybe getting a little bit more finesse with it, looking for those closer passes or trying to work it out, right now they're just trying to force the issue right around the middle of the field and seeing if maybe they can't get something either to go in or giving themselves an opportunity. Now it's going to be Ottoville's chance here is they're going to have to throw in right around the 20. Gets throwing, gets played at his teammates' feet. Here's Schnipke. Going to look for the cross. Got the ball, so. And he takes a seat inside the box, but no penalty. We're a little high up, a little far away, so it, it looked relatively clean. But any time yep. anybody hits the, uh, hits the turf inside the box, that close to the goal, everybody kind of holds their breath a little bit. And you see Ben Jenkins come bring the ball back into the box so he can restart play. Once again, the Liberty Benton defense, Benz doesn't break. Done a fantastic job so far. Hatch trying to play that one over the defender. And it looked like for a minute, Audeville's going to be able to get that one back. But Liberty Benton does a nice job staying with it. They're going to be back down on their offensive side. Pass towards the middle, looking for a deflection. And that one is going to get sent out by Ottaville. Neelis just kind of playing a two-man game right now with Connor Hiss. Finally able to move it forward. It's going to be high, going to stay in play. Liberty Bent looks to take that one away. A little bit of a misplay that time. They're going to send it. Looked like they were looking for the cross. Now here it comes. And Ottaville right there to send it away. Nice header. It looks like that was Mansfield. Or no, that was, I believe, Nice maybe. Yeah, I think it Alex was. Alex Nice. Another header towards the goal. And this one's going to be saved by Hilvers. So Liberty Benton right now putting all the pressure on. But Ottoville's defense and keeper have been able to stand up to it. Carson, Carson Hilvers with probably the best punt so far tonight. Landed almost all the way to the 40-yard line on the opposite side. So that could switch the field in a hurry if Ottoville can take advantage of that. Ottaville looking for the run, but has this one taken away. Neal is right there. He's going to kick it deep, see if one of his teammates can't race to it. Looking for it, and it ends up at his teammates' feet. Nice move. Going to go wide, going to send it in, and saved. Nice Hilbert save. Hilbert's able to get his hands on that one as he had that one lined up nicely. And really, uh, really, I think you could really kind of call that the first real – in game save. Yeah, you know, I would agree. Hilvers. Yeah. And, you know, he played, like you said, he played that one perfect, took away the angle, and was right there to corral that shot. And that had some velocity on it as well. We're going to have a substitution, so we'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. So on the restart after the substitution, Ottaville able to get it back, trying to control the midfield. As we just saw Liberty Benton have multiple good opportunities as Ottaville kind of struggling right now to get some good looks here offensively. They are looking to kind of change that right now, though. Nice job that time. As Jenkins was able to send that one, and this one's going to go out. Throw one is going to stay with Ottoville. That was a pretty dangerous play by Jenkins. He comes way far out and then doesn't totally retreat real quickly. And if they got a quick turnover, they would have left the goal wide open. So Yeah, I, I didn't mind the... The decision to come out, not leave anything for chance, kick that one back up. But if you find yourself that far out, you've got to retreat quicker than that. That could have been one of those mistakes we've talked a little bit about so far tonight, but it didn't come into fruition. So 
Game still knotted at zero. Ottawa now looking for an opportunity. Here's Mansfield. Drops it off wide. Snipke with the left foot. Moves around. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. That's going to be a save. And a third opportunity. Goal. It's going to finally go in. As you can see, Jenkins trying to plead his case, saying that there was some interference. But no, as Ottoville has a first goal of the game on a great play in front of the net. The Liberty Benton defense was there to try to help. But in the end, too many opportunities. And that is going to be a score for Ottoville. The Big Green find themselves up 1-0 here in the second half. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back to today's premier sponsor for the Ottoville Big Green is Ottoville Bank. We are large enough to serve and small enough to know you. The Ottoville Big Green on top, 1-0 after a Nick Cortana goal right at the keeper. As you can see, the keeper still trying to talk to the official and plead his case, but it's going to be to no avail. With 26-59 left to go in the game, Ottoville finally able to find the back of the net. And it's one of those where the ball just kind of bounced around and and you can see Jenkins down there in between the pipes. He is not real happy. Thought he got interfered with. And Mike Wyrock did the right thing. Didn't get in a hurry. Went over and talked to his AR. They conferred. Said it was a goal. Explained it to Ben Jenkins. He still didn't really agree with it. <laughs> He's going to have to accept it. And now we're going to have to see how big Ottaville can be on the defensive end and see if Liberty Benton and their offense can take over. Yeah, and it'll, it'll be interesting to see how the momentum swings here as it has pretty much been all Liberty Benton here in this second half. We have seen a lot of good opportunities. They have gotten things moving towards the net. They've had shot opportunities. As we have some more substitutions coming into the game. So if you're at Liberty Benton, yes, you know, you obviously hate to give up the goal, especially this late. You find yourself down in this regional semifinal game. However, you have to still have a little bit of confidence knowing that you've given yourself opportunities. You, can, you have found ways to work against this Ottoville defense, but they're going to have to get one in the back of the net here. And the quicker they do that, the better. It looks like we had a stoppage for an injury. Looks like we're going to have to correct the timing issue. So as they work out the clock, we will step aside as well, and we will come back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Some time added back onto the clock. As we are at 26-10 left to go here in this one. And Liberty Benton now in the offensive third. They're going to have to have a little bit more sense of urgency than I think they even had before now. As Ottaville, you know, will love to just play keep away. And they got the speed to do it. But so far, of Ottaville's had one chance they took advantage of it. Liberty Benton has had a half a dozen chances, some better than others. So that would give them a little bit more confidence in this next 25 minutes to get the equalizer and try and send it to overtime. Yeah, it was a little bit of a chaotic scene down there for that goal as there was a lot happening in front of the net. And you, know, you wonder if it's going to take Liberty Benton maybe a minute to kind of settle themselves down after that one. And if so, that's a good opportunity for Ottoville to try to take advantage and maybe get a second one. But looks like LB right now making sure that they don't back off and they continue to put the pressure on the big green. Eagles work along the far side, tries to get it towards the middle of the field, gets sent away. But they are able to regain possession. 
Audeville's got to be very diligent there in that final third, and that's a that's the third foul so far in this half. But they got to be real diligent to when they get it, get it off their foot a lot quicker, and not mess around with it. That's when mistakes happen, as you can see. Two minutes ago, that's how that happened down there. Liberty Benton just did not clear the ball as well as they could have. Now Liberty Benton with the direct kick from the 20. They're going to send it in. This one's going to be headed out and will result in a goal kick. So Ottaville got a little aggressive that time going for that loose ball, led to the direct kick, but Liberty Benton not able to do anything with it as we have another substitution coming into the game. As number 12, Ocean Caroga coming in. Will Nice moves it over. That one was almost intercepted, but able to be saved by Liberty Benton as this one's going to go out. And the throw in will go to Ottoville. And just like we saw in that first half. Fast and furious on the substitutions by both teams. Alex Lease coming into the game for Ottoville. Nice job working through traffic. But not able to maintain his dribble, <laughs> but he did a nice job working around it. Looked like maybe he's going to have four different defenders beat on that one before he lost it. He had some nice foot skills there, Jairo Kuroa. Some fancy foot skills, just his feet got a little bit too far ahead of him, a little bit too quick. But he was able to beat two or three Ottaville defenders. So a little bit of space by, for Kalina on that wide side, but not able to do anything with it. Dropped it off. And Ottaville right there to send it up. So Mansfield with the one-on-one. -on -one. We had not seen that very often, but not able to do anything with it. So now with Liberty Benton. As they're going to watch this one get sent deep. At this point, with 22-24 to go in this match, Nate, Liberty Benton has to just kind of hit the reset button and do what the, got them to this point in the season. Since they've... They haven't been the same team since they went down one nothing. They played a little bit quicker than they needed to. See, Liberty Benton now spending a little bit too much time trying to lobby for calls right now. As you see, Ottawa being a little bit more aggressive. And instead of just trying to go after it and trying to work for it, they, as you see the official now going over and, and letting him know they should be a little bit more worried probably about playing that ball than lobbying for calls. Yep. Another substitution coming in. Saxon gets ready for the throw in. Another dangerous yeah, I don't think <laughs> misplayed the, by uh, Liberty Benton and got all the way inside the penalty area. Yeah, not the direction I think that they wanted that ball to go, but ended up being uh, no harm on that one. As it goes out, and the throw in will go to Liberty Benton. Eagles work it towards the middle, but have it. they don't have anybody there to get it. Zadaville's able to take it away. Looking for the run out wide. He was on sides just a little bit too far. It's going to end up in a goal kick for the Eagles. Jenks, Jenkins lines it up. They have another substitution. A little bit of a miss hit that time as Fox not able to handle it. But Liberty Benton gets it back. Here's Ottoville. He's right now, LB a little bit out of sorts as this one's going to go out and the throw and will stay with the Eagles. I thought that one went out a few seconds before, but our AR2 did not raise the flag. Elis tries to work, and gets it across midfield. Looked like he was trying to go wide to Colina, but didn't quite get enough on that one. 
This one's just going to get dropped back down to Jenkins. Jenkins did a nice job to get rid of that in a hurry. He had to. Preston Mansfield was coming hard. Here's Mansfield working one-on-one. -on -one. Nice defensive stand that time. Ends up out, though, off of LB, so Otterville will maintain possession as another substitution coming into the game. Good time to bring Saxton back in on a throw deep. You can see he's all the way out on lane three right now. Yeah, we've seen a couple of his throws from pretty much the same spot. They've been able to get that one and throw it into the box. So we are going to have a stoppage here, it looks like. No, we're not. Sorry. I thought we were going to have a stoppage there for a second. But the throw in comes in. Audible boots this one back. It's a miscommunication as I'm not sure if the keeper called off. Ooh. And that one's going to go in as a powerful right foot ends up in the back of the net. And I'm not quite sure what Liberty Benton's conversation he, is if he thinks he was once again interfered with on that shot as, as the conversation continues. But either way, Ottoville now finds himself up 2 0. 1843 left to go here in the game. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Today's premier sponsor for the Ottoville Big Green is Ottoville Bank. We are large enough to serve and small enough to know you. Take a look at the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Ottoville on top, 2-0 off of the powerful right foot of Schnipke as he drilled that one into the back of the net. Liberty Benton once again, heavy protest, thinking that their keeper had been interfered with. But at the end of the day, the goal stands and now Liberty Benton finds themselves in a big hole. And I know, you know, from a refereeing standpoint, you always want to protect the keeper. But when both of them go up vertical, there's a hard – there's nobody created the contact. So you both go up vertical. It's hard to call that. Um, and that's what Mike Wyrock was telling Coach Troyer. He was not having that, and he was getting a little bit animated over there. So here's Mansfield trying again as – Ottaville gets another rebound, and just like that, they are on top, 3-0, as Preston Mansfield puts the rebound in and gives Ottaville what you would think at this point has to be an insurmountable lead. Yeah, with 18.02 to go, and within 41 seconds between goals two and three, that is demoralizing. You, can, you feel like you can come back from two. Three seems like Mount Everest. So Ottoville with a big lead now, 3-0 here in the regional semifinal. Substitutions coming on. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Ottoville on top, 3-0 with under 18 left to go here in this Division Three regional semifinal. Nate Garlock alongside Josh Cosgrove here at Wapakoneta High School. And we pretty much spent, except for maybe the last 12 minutes, you know, praising the defenses of both of these yes. teams. But then just like that, it has turned an Ottoville all over Liberty Benton. A couple of maybe disputed goals, maybe a, maybe an argument here or there, you know, where, you you know, if you're the Liberty Benton side, you could easily find some fault in those first sure. two. But that last one came through. Preston Mansfield made sure that there was no doubts or questions about that one. And... and Jenkins even made a fantastic save. Just couldn't corral it. It bounced out. And what happens when it bounces out to a goal scorer? A goal scorer is going to find the back of the net. And when you're a senior, you've played in this game, the regional semifinals, for three years in a row. He knows how to finish. 
and we saw that a minute ago. He just found the back of the net, and there was a no doubt about that one. So now Liberty Benton has to be in all sorts of desperation mode if they want to give themselves any kind of opportunity here. And what you hate to see is, you know, two controversial calls like that, which from up here, it's we're, we're way up here. We're, you know, it's it's a whole lot different. But that last one was not any controversial at all. But you just kind of worry about the psyche of the Liberty Benton kids at this point. We gave up a goal. Okay, we gave up a second goal. Now within 41 seconds, we gave up a third goal. That is going to do something where, like I said before we went to break, Nate, two, you can come back from three. That's it's more like Mount Everest. So, but we'll see what what's going to happen with the Liberty Benton Eagles and their. And now it looks like they're playing a little bit of a long ball at this point. Winner of tonight's game will move on. They will play on Saturday at noon. They will play the winner of. Uh, Kidron Central Christian and Metamora Evergreen as that game will be played at if I can get the Clyde game. I think I can't quite get the site info to, I'm to pop up here I'm pretty sure I think it's at Clyde and Kidron that's who uh, Liberty Benton played the last time they were in regional finals and I think Ottaville has played them before Ottoville rows it back down to the offensive third. Is at this point they feel like you got to think that they feel like that net is wide open to them. But these kids from Liberty Benton, they have not given up. You can see as Carson Hilbert's there to corral that one, looking for a a slashing ball. Just Carson Hilbert's was there to corral it before. Liberty Benton could get to it. Finally able to get uh, get the site info to open up, and you are 100% correct. The regional final will be played at Clyde with a chance to move on and play in the state semis. And right now with 14 minutes left to go, it looks like that is going to be Ottawa, or excuse me, Ottoville as they get another opportunity that time. But good job by Liberty Benton's defense to send that away. Another one's going to go in, though. Great save by Jenkins. He reaches up and snatches that one down. That was a nice left-footed strike by Alex Lease coming off his left side. No opportunities that just did not look like Ottaville was going to be able to get here in this game. Seemed to, seems to be coming in bunches here late. The tide has turned a little bit. <laughs> That's an understatement. I understand that. But now we're seeing all the action inside the 50, and the defense for Liberty Benton just has not got there. We're going to go goal kick. I thought maybe it was maybe a corner kick. It looks like Mike Weirock said that uh, it was out before the touch. Now we got subs. Yeah, and uh, you know, quite honestly, what we're seeing on the Ottaville offensive third now isn't a whole lot different than what we were seeing on the Liberty Benton offensive third for the most of the first half of this second half. And the difference obviously is Ottaville's been able to finish their opportunities where Liberty Benton wasn't. Exactly. And I wouldn't even call, you know, we talked about it could come down to a mistake here or there. I don't even know if you could consider one of those goals a mistake. It's just they didn't finish and Ottaville capitalized on that. They couldn't clear it. And, you know, like I said, we're not close enough to even see if there was actual interference. But you still have to make the play. 
And this is one of those games, if the score holds, and, you know, it stays 3 nothing deficit, or even if it expands a little bit more, you know, this is going to be one of those games where the final score doesn't really tell the story of what this game is. You oh. may see this one in the paper or, you know, on, on the Internet or wherever. If you're looking through the brackets, you're like, oh, they, they won 3 nothing. That was a pretty handed game. That, that does not tell the story of how this game has been played. No, for the first 50 or so minutes, it was a nip and tuck defensive struggle. Liberty Benton sends one Ooh, in. Ooh, that was a little closer than advertised. <laughs> yeah, that one just out of the reach of Hilvers, but too wide of the net. So it's going to be goal kick coming for Fox, the Big Green. Right. Right. 11 20 left to go in this one. Hilvers sends this one up. Liberty Benton able to control it. Hatch. Decides to put the brakes on, pulls it back. This one ends up over to Neelis. Neelis moves around. As Liberty Benton right now just can't quite seem to get their foot and to get the ball where they're looking for. Taylor sends this one back up. Otterville's in no hurry to chase this one down. They are perfectly content playing defense right now. They're still looking for Preston Mansfield up there <laughs> when they have the opportunity. Out on the far side, this one's going to get kicked out. Throw in will stay with Liberty Benton. And we're going to have substitutions as the Eagles tried to go quickly. But the subs will stop this one. Ten minutes left to go in this game. As right now, Ottaville is in full control, looking to work their way into the regional final that will get played on Saturday, November 4th. Needless has that one taken away. Ottaville moves it back up. Quinn Taylor steps in front. Going to play this one out wide. This one is going to go out off an Ottoville player. And we're taken to X to find out some updates. And, you know, obviously when this one broadcasts, everyone will already know uh, the results. But at least where we stand right now, Kidron is up one to nothing off of a header. So right now they have the best of the second regional semifinal. Ottaville still playing a little bit of that long ball versus a possession game right now. And by long ball, I mean they're looking for their goal scorers. Another opportunity Off this the crossbar. It's going to be for high. <laughs> it's going to end up in a, I believe that actually might have been even up off the crossbar. It was on the. Uh, it was a football the crossbar. Field, <laughs> yeah, the field, field goal. Crossbar. Yeah. So a goal kick coming in for Jenkins. Some more substitutions coming into the game. One sent out long, gets across midfield, gets head back. Neelis tries to control. Nice touch. He's able to get at the foot of Troyer. Troyer sends it up. Trevor Ferris not able to control that one as it went just out of his reach. As Otto Bill was able to send it up. Here's Schnipke, already one goal on the night. Looking for Lane, sends it out wide. Extra pass, that one gets sent up. And we're going to have an offsides, offsides call by the big green. I thought they'd look for, and look like maybe Preston Mansfield was offside as well, but I thought they might look for a slide pass to Preston Mansfield on there inside the 18. There's his, as he moves it up. Big Hart. Racing up the sideline, can't get to it before it goes out. Throwing goes to the big green. Here's 
Nealis right in the middle of the field. Tries to get it towards the top of the box, but a little bit off target. Liberty Benton, though, still ends up with the better as this one goes for the cross in the box. It's going to get headed out by Ottoville. Ottoville wants to run. <laughs> they had numbers, but that time it looked like they actually pulled up. Now it's three on three. Schnipke, he's going to take the slide tackle. And there is going to be a whistle that time. I think he's just actually, going out no, of – no, it's just a throw in. He Clean tackle that time. Is, yeah. It's just going to be a throw in for the Eagles. <laughs> Schnipke thought it was a kick. Schnipke still fighting on that far side. As Liberty Benton fortunate to get to that one as it got sent out. Could end up in a corner. And this one's going to get sent out. The throw in will stay. Oh, it's going to stay with Ottoville. Sorry, fans. You do have to throw that one back. It's not baseball. You don't get to keep it. <laughs> Nice job by Saxon. Play that one off his chest. Gets it towards the middle. Ottoville still trying to look for scoring opportunities. This one's going to get sent up field. Under six left to go in the game. Ottoville still on the attack. Liberty Benton's finally able to get it. They are trying to move it up towards midfield. Out of the right there, though, to send it back, and it's going to go out, throw in coming for the Eagles. Substitution for the Eagles, number 14, Quinn Taylor. Quinn Taylor coming back into the game. He didn't get much of a break. Just enough to get a little water, get his legs back, and try and get this last five-minute push. Now if Ottaville subs... We're stopping the clock under five under the OHSA rules. So I'm not real sure if Coach Markward is going to sub at all. He wants to see that clock just keep on a ticking. Yeah, no reason to prolong this one. Don't want to have anything kind of freak happen. Hilbert sends this punt up. It's going to get sent out by Liberty Benton. Throw in coming for the big green. Snipke. Gathers it in quickly, going to drop it, going to play off, going to let Saxton take it. Saxton, the long throw. Taylor does a nice job coming in, taking that header off. Actually, no, that wasn't Taylor. I believe that was actually Connor Hiss. Hiss now working one-on-one. -on -one. Nice goes move down. by Schnipke. Schnipke sends it towards the middle, and a redirect goes back in as Ottoville adds another one to seal this one. You'd have to think with 4.04 left to go, they are on top, four to nothing. We are gonna step aside. We'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken or Home Style happens here. So Ottoville adds another insurance goal. They are on top four to nothing as Liberty Benton just finally could not have any answers for this Ottoville offense. That last goal was sophomore number 22, Nick Brandeberry. Sub coming off the bench, contributing goal number four tonight. WOSN is pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. It's a great way to be able to watch games like this if you can't be in person. Or if you just want to watch the replay and see some of these tremendous goals put in by this Ottaville team over and over and over. <laughs> it is a great way to do that. Yes. So Ottaville on top, 4 nothing. under three minutes left to go here. Ottaville in full control as they will move on and play in the regional final. 
Some physicality still going on down there. Liberty Benton not willing to give an inch here as we're going to have a penalty. Going to have a clock stoppage. As I think we're going to have, because he continued to play, I believe, after the whistle on that one to move the ball. Kind of lucky he's not getting a yellow on that one. For delay of restart. Yeah, yeah I thought the same thing. I thought that might be why he stopped the clock was to cart, but he just uh, gave him a little warning. You know, and what good does a card do with 236 to go in the game anyway? Um, especially in a 4 nothing game. He took that one right off the gut. Nice job getting up, showing some toughness there. Not wanting the, the clock to stop. He also, also wants to continue to play. Doesn't yeah. have to be taken out. He's a tough kid anyway. <laughs> he plays that mi <laughs> middle of the uh, midfield. That's a tough position to play. You're going to get beat up right there. Yeah, you can tell it took Sacks in a minute, but it looks like he's doing okay now. Brody Thomas sends one long. Quinn Taylor trying to work around the defense as Taylor will go out and get the throw in. And he is going to drop it as Taylor is going to take it. Or excuse me, Thomas is going to take it. This one gets head up into the middle. Larry Benton right now just not wanting to get shut out, hoping to put one in here in the final minute 30. Going to get sent back long by Ottoville. Saxton with a nice 60-yard clear. And it looks like uh, they're going to face Kidron. Kidron 2 nothing over Evergreen up there at Port Clinton tonight. So going to have an offsides called that time. So free kick will come. To Liberty Benton with under a minute left to go. So Liberty Benton came into tonight's game undefeated on the road. They're going to get their first loss away from the Fenley confines of Liberty Benton High School. And the tremendous season by the Ottoville Big Green. 19-0-1 coming into tonight. They are going to move to 20-0-1 as you saw why this team has been so dominant. That first half, it, it would look like a defensive stand. No opportunities as a great save by Hilvers wow. to preserve the shutout with 15 seconds left to go. But, you know, this game really looked like it could go either way. We talk, spent a lot of time talking about the defenses and yep. about how it may come down to a mistake or maybe this is even a game that had the makings of a potential uh, uh, overtime two, penalty kick one, type situation zero. as these teams look tremendously evenly matched and then in the second half even with Liberty Benton in. really pushing out of it and and it looked like maybe they had the little energy and they were getting the opportunities Ottoville eventually made them bend to their will and poured it on, and they take away the four to nothing victory. Yeah, it was a great match, and you said it best. The first half, it was bend, don't break. Neither one did, and then it was Liberty Benton coming out with some halftime adjustments, pushing, and then after the first ten minutes in that game, it was basically all Ottoville from that point on. So that is just going to about do it for us here at Wapakoneta High School as the Ottaville Big Green are moving on to the regional finals. And they're going to head up to Clyde High School and they will take on Kidron Central Christian for an opportunity to move on to the final four in the state of semis. We'd like to thank tonight's sponsors, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and uh, tonight's premier sponsor, the Ottaville Bank. We appreciate it. Everybody tuning in tonight, I'd like to thank our crew tonight as well. Megan working the cameras, doing the editing. She had a tough job tonight. It is not warm out there. It we, is not. We are in one of the most beautiful press boxes in the entire area. It's nice and warm, temperature controlled, 30 degrees outside, and Megan's up top running the cameras and for us. And she has turned into a popsicle. <laughs>
So we appreciate you, Megan. We thank you so much for running the cameras. You you get the difficult job. We get the easy one. We get to just sit here and watch and call these games, but you got to do all the tech work for us, do all the editing, and we truly appreciate all that you do for us. One final time from Walpock Canada High School, the Ottoville Big Green. Come away with the victory. 4 nothing over the Liberty Benton Eagles. I'm Nate Garlock for Josh Crossgrove. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and have a great night.